Now, this is the SharePoint workbench we saw yesterday when we ran at the Gulp serve command. So SharePoint online workbench can be uh, accessed under any site with underscore layouts URL. So how we can do is that we have a SharePoint site URL. We can say HTTPS your SharePoint site underscore layouts and workbench.aspx. So if Gulp serve is uh, running because till the time your assets are served from local host, that is local host 4321. So you have to keep the Gulp serve running then only your assets can be served and we can use SharePoint Workbench. So please remember there are two types of workbench you're talking about. One is a local workbench and one is a SharePoint Workbench. Okay, now something about concept of Semver. I was talking about this yesterday that what is semantic versioning? This is a new concept. You might be uh, not knowing about this. Let me tell you that what is Semver? Semver stands for semantic versioning. As you can see that nowadays this versioning is used like this. It has A dot B dot C. So A, B and C. A represents the substantial changes to package that may break the existing code. You can say major version. B stands for minor version and the C stands for you can say patch or bug fixing. Uh, so what I want to say is that what is the idea behind Semver uh, is that you can say that the version number we see as uh, yesterday we saw about a uh, moment moment JS. We saw the version number of that. It was in the form of a dot B dot C. So uh, if you are generally issuing only a patch or uh, you can say uh, in other words, there is no change to the API, then the last digit changes. But if you are making the changes to the API, however, let's say uh, uh, you can say you are just adding the new methods. Okay, which does not break the API or you can say new me new methods new features. So existing code is not expected to break. So I'm talking about this middle one, the minor version, then you would update the middle number. But if you are shipping a major version, okay, which might break the API, which could break the existing code, then you update this major version, the most left version left hand side. Now I will say that this is a well established standard. And as you write more and more uh, complicated SharePoint framework packages, you probably will end up writing libraries to be shared amongst your own team. So you have to understand this symbol. What is semantic versioning? 